Welcome back. Let's learn about Dolphin Bar. Oh, if we can't jump, do we not have rails in this game? Like, how, how many trick oriented things can there be here? I mean, there were two things back in... And we don't have presses in this game either, I don't think. Man, yeah, the tricks are really primitive in this game. In, in the sequel when we skiing snowboard, the, the trick courses were... They were at least half things to grind on. Okay. Well, let's just see what this place is like. Because I'm really curious what this could possibly entail. I guess it's just a couple jumps in a row. I don't know why the nunchuck is so much worse now. I might have to see if I have another one sitting somewhere. In fact, I think I can see one right now. Can I? Ah. Oh, can you not do multiple um, rotations in a row? Or 720s and whatnot? Let's see. Yeah, you can. But no safe landings, which is one less thing to worry about, but also... I, it's just muscle memory for me. I shoot that- whoa, sorry. Look at you two there, I'm gone. Ah, there's a big lag. Just like in the, the sequel, there's a big lag before you do... ...a trick. Which is really awkward sometimes, if you're trying to do multiple tricks in a row. Nope, oh, no Ding dong. I like getting to hear that sound again. Uh, we, we, we still get totally mundane announcements. I like that. That's nice. Let's try more difficult air trick. I did literally the most difficult one in the game. More tricks. So, one thing I'm curious about it looked like I saw something off to the side there. I'm curious how many secrets there could be here. I think what's going to happen in this game, though, is we're just going to milk the smaller course for all it's worth as compared to a slightly more coarse covering of the game. A covering of the course that we saw in Whiskey and Snowboard. That, that's how things were in Granny's younger days. You, you had to make do with what you had. But that comes to the... that also is a part because... In this game, it doesn't seem like there's stuff you get hi, dolphin, for just exploring. I wasn't actually trying to go for a good score here, but it feels like now it might actually be a good idea. Chuck. Oh, look at that! So you know what we're doing here. Ah, you! Thank you, person just yelling and jumping at me. So I saw something that seemed vaguely secretish there, though. A sign that seemed to indicate some kind of off course thing or something. I think it was actually at the tail end of it, instead of where that off-course thing begins. And you can hear the people clinking their, their stocks from really far away. Yeah, back in the days before... We had the technology of snowboards. That's just the explanation for anything I saw in this game that was in the sequel. It just hadn't been invented yet. Like thumbs ups. People just didn't do it back then. And safe landings. People just didn't land safely. People live dangerously. Well, let's see if we can find what I'm looking for down here. But so unfortunately, we're not going to have like secret jumps and rails and things like that to look for. 
which was a lot of fun, but at the same time I do realize that we're on the shark course, why is there a shark here? I do realize that was also like most of the frustration of the, the seagull, so maybe that's a good thing in a weird way. Oh no, that's just a... Hmm. That's interesting, what's this here? Why are you closed? So that says, just be, that sign just says to you where you have collisions. Now I'm curious though. Who? Who are you? Let's see if we can... Go up to top here and see what's happening here. I don't want to do like all of the the free roam things before we actually do any non free roam things. I should have asked for details here. I don't know. Uh, I have a feeling we can't go here in the night either, which is sad. It was really cool being able to have multiple environments to switch between in the sequel. Nighttime just didn't exist yet. We just hadn't invented the moon. That's what's happening here. I saw a person with a nursing icon on their heads too that I was curious about. I feel like I'm being judged every moment now. And I'm on one of these courses. So I'm going for a good score. Hey! Oh, really? T calm down there. It was a lot easier to not fall over in the sequel. Who are you and what are you doing there? That's interesting. I can talk to you, but you're not even on the... That's very weird. Hey, pony. Pork. Okay. Nope. What? I've never even gone over mobile. Except for... Whatever. Special air trick. Oh! Is the hurricane, like, secret knowledge in this game? Huh. The tutorial doesn't even tell you how to do a hurricane. Well, you can go up there. Okay, that's interesting, though. So... It's like, there's just this blocked off section here. Well, naturally that just makes me curious about things. But I also want to get the, the description for Wolf Hill. There aren't any jumps on Wolf, so I'm not going to be able to try out the, the hurricane there, unfortunately. Wolf, this is a really uncomfortable camera angle. Of course, our snow remains exactly as Mother Nature left it, as opposed to the mountain, unfortunately, but mountains didn't exist yet. It's okay. I mean, you'd think you'd hear them if they howled. Hey, I'd like to see a fox, but shouldn't we see a fox over in a foxy place? What's the flavor text for this one? Soft, uncompacted snow? That's it. There's trivia, man. I'll, I'll trivia man with the tri- I'll- ah, I'll trivia with the trivia man later. I just want to see where that closed off section is, because you should be able to see it from here, I would think. It looks like it's just a section of this course that was blocked off. So it should be to the right of here, I think. Part of me. Oh no, I don't really see it. I don't see where that would be. I don't see what leads to it. I mean, I like that there's just that little universe detail of there being some kind of something that no turning. Yeah, so turning is an important thing. But, and I like having little details like that, like there's just a section that got closed off, or it happens to be closed off at the moment or something. 
I'm gonna have to figure out how to not land in a stumbling way in this game though, apparently. It's weird having these little bounces I can't actually do tricks off of those. No, like I can't do tricks off those. It is interesting how we seem to have different kinds of events strewn all throughout the area in this game as opposed to just, um, what's back here? All throughout the course instead of just... Boom. At the bottom. There are, I'm, there are a couple that weren't at the bottom in the, the sequel, but they were basically all down here. And it looks like people like jump around between their parts of the world too. Which is also interesting. In fact, there's not much at all down here. But are there fewer people here now than before? I thought there were more people down here earlier. Oh, nope, there you go. The icon was just covered by something else apparently. Huh? Oh, the icon's just gone? There we go. Three. Whoa! Shock. Apparently this game is a vacation. I thought Granny just like was born and raised on the slopes. Oh, okay, CEO just happens to be sitting here. He's dressed like a candy corn. Nope. What do you control? Oh, I think I see it. Oh, unofficially, do you need like a license? Is this like black market orienteering? found he found our, our free roam activity but we need to do some stuff that's not free roam first because we're gonna have nothing left to do in this resort otherwise oh can you not do other stuff simultaneously in this version oh, I want to familiarize myself I want to know this place well I mean it's it's a small little world we're living in in this game as compared to the, the console version I'm, I'm sorry we just need snowboard of course, back in Whiskey and Snowboard, the resort itself felt like a big place up until I, I eventually went to to the mountain, and then, man, it, you, you can't go back. I mean, the resort's still nice after after the mountain, and it feels so nice and safe, that's the main thing, but, like, nothing matches the thrill of going on the mountain in Whiskey and Snowboard. And after that, like, this game just feels like such a, such a small thing. Oh, cool. Is this control point one that I'm at now? I think cold weather is a little redundant, unless that's actually a clue. No. I didn't mean I want you to read again, I more, more meant like I'm not paying attention. In the sense that I don't want to. <laughs> you can't escape orienteering. You're not allowed to. Okay, so I'm not forced to do other stuff though simultaneously. That's good. Um, in that case, I actually wanted to go do something else first, but I might just go to an event some of some sort somewhere. I'll try to go somewhere new first. Are there any events at the top of Rabbit out, out of curiosity? I will every now and then just t stop to like look at what, what's around me. Like, there's a map. That's nice. Like, I'm curious what this building is, but I don't know if it actually has a, a stated purpose. I can't read the top line. It says... Oh. Best food, Swan Lake. This is a small little food shack. 
There we go, that's a nice little description. It's weird. In We Skin Snowboard, on both the mountain and the, the resort, the the tree covered parts were in the the bottom left if you looked at the map. In this game. Oh whoa, I can actually move the camera this time. Oh, I couldn't move the camera last time just because uh my nunchuck wasn't working. This is what happened. Oh, I can move the camera up and down for once. Oh, that is nice. I wish I could do that all the time. Alright, well, we're getting used to this game. But there's still some more to do. So I'll see you guys next time in the next episode when we do some event or another here on... Here on Rabbit, I think, to start ourselves off. Is that a... what is that shape there? Is that a rabbit? That's an elephant. We're not on the elephant, though. These animals are all out of place. That was a really nice... cinematic pan there. Or rotation. And so I managed to do that with this little... Oh, can you go there? Yeah, it just depends. Somehow I managed to do that with this little nunchuck stick. It barely even works. I'm just curious if we'll have the usual fade out once we reach the top here. But other than that, that'll be it for this episode once we reach the top here. Oh man, all, all the action's on the other side here. There's nobody over here. Why are we alone here? This is the nice quiet place. See, I just want to look at what these different buildings are and whatnot. Just the, the buildings having functions just gives them so much more life to me. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next episode when we do more of, well, something. Bye.